This is the BCB Crusader 2 cooker, made of nice, tough, anodized aluminium. Has a nice circular area in the middle. You can pour in some alcohol gel and burn that. Although when I've done that, I've used it in a little shoe polish tin that rests on top. You can use hexamine tablets. I always put a little bit of stiff aluminium foil in, just because I'm a bit precious, want to keep that as clean as possible. And you put your tablets in there and burn away. You can also use your Trangia or Esbit style alcohol stove. That's that with the lid on. And then the arm or handle flips over the top. Obviously you can then put anything on there, but it's designed to go with a Crusader 2 mug. This is a cheap copy, not the original. So it doesn't quite fit as snugly as the real one would. I think there would still be some gap, but a good chimney effect to boil your water. And we can have a look at some field tests I did with that. So the field test that we're going to be doing with the Crusader 2 cooker is to boil 500 milliliters of water, cold tap water, in this mug with that lid. So they're keeping that constant. All these tests are done on fairly dull summer days in the south of England. Um, we can't really control the weather and keep it constant from one test to another. And these are the same conditions under which I tested the fuels I'm going to be using on this cooker with the bush box stove. So as well as seeing what it does uh, with this cooker, it's also a good comparison with uh, another field cooker. What's very hard to keep constant, of course, is the air temperature and the relative humidity. Uh, but we just have to understand that. This is the Esbit stove. Whoops, sorry. That's what I filled it with again the bioethanol spirit. Just going to roll and boil, 11 minutes, 39. So like the bush box stove, I'm again using this bioethanol gel fuel uh, and I'm using the base of an old shoe polish tin just to hold it in there. Just comes to the boil now. So 9 minutes 30. Actually, I've had to redo this because when I did just now, I forgot to press record just to capture the boiling point, and it was 8 minutes 54. It's a little bit slower than just now, but you're looking at the nine minute stage. But nine minutes 30 for this test. What I don't like about this fuel is the container you burn it in after a, a few times, just keeps that all that residue, so it doesn't really affect the performance too much, I don't think. Uh, but you need to really scrape it out every time. It just makes it a little bit more inconvenient. We have here four little round tablets, same as when I tested the Esbit stove. And we have the usual 500 millilitres of cold fresh tap water. And we start the thingy. Just stop the timer there, I'll show you in a minute. But there we are, lovely rolling boil. Let's look at what time is. Six minutes 40. And if we take this off, 
we've still got a fair amount of fuel left going there. But it's now four minutes since I took the water off and those fuel tablets are still going well. Don't quite sure don't, not quite sure how fast partly burnt down tablets will boil some water. But it just shows you there's plenty left in the tank after you've done the job. It's a quite an efficient little stove. So there we have it, the BCB Crusader 2 cooker. Uh, you know the comparative burn times, you can go and make your choice. Happy camping.